Alright, so we're back at the uh, Syracuse studio. Four pieces to open, all of them related. Um, they're the same topic, at least, if not by the same maker. And I, I want to make a note as I get started here that I did go through a learning curve with plastic space figures over the summer and had a, a awakening that no, Marx didn't make them all. And I've been taking down some videos of mine that were pre-learning experience. Um, and I appreciate the, the viewer who pointed one of them out to me. If you see me making glaring errors, let me know. But anyway. Rockin'. Speaking of Mark Spaceman, I finally have my square scoop guy. And I'm going to do a blog post on him, the poor son of or, uh, Almost every example of the, of the form that you see online has a, has a broken off scoop. This guy's got some age to him, some wear or whatever. He'll, he'll get a cleaning. Uh... And it was the first time I'd found one it's available alone, separately, with, with his scoop intact. And I decided, what the hell, let's finish off the quest. Let's see here. Always fun to try and figure out which side of the box to open. And this one will do. And there we go. Number five and number six from the series of Mark's Sitchin six inch spaceman figures. And on we go. I'm going to try to open these all in the same thing. And, I, and like I said, they're all sort of related. This one here came off of Etsy. Props to the seller. This is a lot of MPC astronauts, multiple toy makers, with their gear. First time I've seen one of those. Yeah, we got him. And I'm actually wondering if, oh, he sent me one with a busted pistol. And just to make note, immediately after filming the video, I messaged the Etsy vendor who had sold me this lot of figures and he's going to send uh, another guy to take his place and so i'll have uh extra mpc guy in an interesting pose to paint or otherwise utilize in my art back to the video and i'm not gonna let disappointment stop us because this might be, I don't know, nah, the, the six inch guys were more important. But I came upon this listing as well. Sealed United States Spacemen, multiple toy makers, unbreakable action figures, 1972. I'd be willing to bet good money that this. I, 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 and I don't know if it was this is like what my parents got me when I was a kid and it was the 1972 date that sold me on it more than anything else I'm not going to open it up um, but there are brand new MPC Hong Kong Spacemen in red, white, and gold with a beautiful header card 
But most importantly, we've got the multiple toy makers logo there and the 1972 date. Vision of Minor Industries, made in USA. I don't know about that. Um, but I wanna I'm gonna do another follow-up post that will help people understand the difference between MPC multiple toy makers spacemen and marks spacemen there's a it's important to get it right you know i don't even know if these are, are, are i had been thinking about it is is gray one of the original mpc colors i'm not sure i know red white and blue were for their five and a half inch figures but as you can see they're very very different than than marks there's different design sensibilities going on here um, and the Marx ones uh, were debuted in 1970. These were around, boy, I don't know, 1965, probably earlier than that. I'd like to find a definitive guide to figuring out when. I'd already had a couple of the gray ones that came with the sprue. Um, and... Uh, and originally, we thought they presumed they were marks because everybody presumes that everything, uh, in terms of plastic spaceman figures for for toy sets, is made by marks. So he's got the revolver. That's kind of cool. And I hope I hope the seller can do something about about this broken gun there because that's just mail the guy back and say look dude let me buy one off of that. i'll buy him a one i want a complete set of these in this pristine state and that's not that's not going to cut muster but they're the little guys down there it, same as in the bag here okay and one of the points of confusion is the cameraman on the right is a marks operation moon base camera guy he's been clipped off of his base by a prior owner and I stuck him standing up, and next to him is an NPC cameraman, and you can sort of see how people might get confused. The modeling is, is pretty similar up until the uh, Marks guy not having his, his uh, diver tank, his oxygen tank. And not only does the NPC guy have the oxygen tank, but he's got a, a hose coming off of it where the Marks guy, well, I guess he might have a hose. And anyway... Point being that MPC or multiple toy makers, which I'm pretty sure were the same company, multiple toy makers was the shelf name for MPC's toy products, MPC, multiple plastics company. Like a lot of people, I made the mistake originally of thinking that MPC meant Marks Plastic Company, when in fact the actual name is Louis Marks and Company. Or just shortened to Mark's Toys. And it wasn't until the Apollo astronauts in 1970 that the Mark's Spaceman figures got an actual Mark's logo stamp on the bottom. Prior to that, as we look at this moon base figure, they only had the two dots. Um, multiple toy makers, MPC Spaceman figures, all have the MPC logo embedded. And like a lot of people, I made the, the very understandable. If, 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 and, and if what was unforgivable was making videos about it. Um, but the very understandable mistake that that meant Mark's Plastic Company, and it does not. It means MPC, which is multiple toy makers. They share the same physical address, I know that. And I've come to regard multiple toy makers as the shelf name of the toy products made by MPC, which is a different company. These are by Mark's over here. I'm not sure where they cast the six inch figures. But I'm pretty sure that the uh, Operation Moonbase smaller size guys, those were probably cast in the United States. I'm not sure. Here's, here's, here's the smaller 60 millimeter version of the six inch camera guy. In white, he was issued in the Giant Martian Landing and Galaxy Command play sets. In orange, we see him over there. They were issued in Galaxy Command and Star Station 7. And the white guys in six inches were the ones who first appeared in 1970. And uh, here's, here's one of the blue variants. I've also seen it in green with the Marks logo on the base. Um, or the Marks stamp there, which does have 1970 on it. Here's another Operation Moon base guy here with some user-owner-applied paint. And again, 
just the two notches on the bottom. So that's an instant, easy guide to telling the two apart. MPC Spacemen in this form will have the, the MPC logo there on the bottom. Mark Spacemen in that apparent form will only have the two indentations underneath the base. Um, and I chose those two because they're sort of in a similar pose, including having sculpted terrain underneath them. The Marx figures appeared in 1962. The MPC guys, 1963, and I believe that it was the playset for Fireball XL5 that they were first issued in, although I could be wrong. I'm still not entirely sure, and specific web resources on this material are, are, are kind of lacking in accessibility. I'm not sure where to look specifically for that information and I want to make sure that people who are watching my videos are getting correct the correct loop of data to process and yeah I'm pretty sure those are the spacemen my parents got me when I was five years old I would have been five years old Christmas 1972 And I got them back. And I got all my six, uh, six inch marks astronauts. And my supper's ready. So, walking across. All right, let's hear it for Etsy. A little follow up. The vendor was actually online when I messaged him with a picture of the two of the guys standing next to each other. And he recognized that there was damage and is going to send me uh, another guy. End of story.